10 Signs a Psychopath is Targeting You Psychopaths are very dangerous individuals, but perhaps the most dangerous thing about them is the fact that they are hard to spot until it's too late. Too many individuals have been drawn in and charmed by a psychopath only to realize that a monster was lurking behind their seemingly charming facade. So how do you tell if a psychopath is targeting you? Thankfully, psychopathy has been an area of high interest for many psychological researchers and they've discovered many traits of psychopaths that will give them away, at least if you know what to look for. Number 1. Grooming Grooming is when psychopaths target and prepare their victims. Grooming can include a variety of different activities and tactics, like giving gifts, help, or favors, but the aim is always the same. Win their trust and encourage submission in order to facilitate mental, physical, or sexual abuse. Number 2. Psychopaths will watch you carefully. Psychopaths view people very differently than you or I would look at someone. They see them as little more than prey, and the way that they watch their prey is not that different from the hunting tactics of a lion. Many reveal that when talking to a psychopath, it seems like they're not blinking or showing any emotion. That's because they're scanning you for any weakness. Number 3. Appear as a savior. Sometimes, psychopaths watch you carefully to attack in a non-physical way. They will often come to you as a savior, pretending to have something you want or need. They will give them what they need, earn their trust, and then threaten to take it away in order to manipulate them. Number 4. Psychopaths use aliases. Interestingly enough, there are possible overlaps between psychopathy and antisocial personality disorder. People with antisocial personality disorders tend to use an alias when targeting people, as do psychopaths. Number 5. Psychopaths can be charming. When a psychopath approaches a victim, he or she will often seem incredibly charming, but the more sensitive and wary individuals will note that there is something wrong or off about this charm. It just doesn't seem right. That's because it's all an act, and the psychopath doesn't actually care about you. Number 6. Psychopaths will try to use you. The end goal of a psychopath is to get something from you. Many times, this is simply to watch you die, or to rape and sexually humiliate you. Other times, it can involve manipulating you into achieving their goals. Number 7. You might never see a psychopath coming. The most disturbing thing about psychopaths might well be their ability to blend in. This makes them difficult, if not impossible, to detect. You might not be able to tell if someone is a psychopath. Remember, they can appear anywhere, even in positions of power and responsibility. Positions that are supposed to be occupied by people that you can trust. Number 8. Psychopaths will talk in a certain way. Psychopaths have trouble controlling their desires, and this can manifest itself in a very visible way. Psychopaths often seem very impulsive and are unable to focus on one thing for a long time, especially if they are attracted to numerous things at once. This can become obvious in the way a psychopath talks and communicates. Number 9. Learned Helplessness Learned helplessness is an interesting phenomenon. It's defined as a condition in which a person suffers from a sense of powerlessness arising from a traumatic event or persistent failure to succeed. It is thought to be one of the underlying causes of depression. This is a commonly used tactic by psychopaths to psychologically break people. If you can instigate learned helplessness in someone, it will destroy their self-esteem and deeply humiliate them. Number 10. Psychopaths will isolate you. Another thing that psychopaths will often try to do is get you alone. This is because psychopaths can better manipulate you or harm you when you're in a one-on-one -on -one setting. They know that individuals, especially shy ones, will be more submissive and more likely to obey when they don't have the safety of others to turn to. In addition, psychopaths know that they are more likely to get away with their crimes if no one is watching.